Greetings gentlemen and ladies, this is the Old School Game Snob aka Developer of Werewolf and Games. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to set up with the new Fluid Flux version 2, which just dropped the other day, uh, how to set up your coastline for your wave simulation. Super duper simple, let's get into it. So for my lighting, I will be using Ultra Dynamic Sky, in case any of you are wondering. It's just a super nice easy way to add some lighting and clouds to your level. Let's go ahead and of course create a landscape, just super duper quick. Okay, so I'm basically just going to sculpt out a little island. Really nothing to what I'm doing here, just basically creating a little bit of landmass. So you will of course need to make sure that you have added the fluid flux folder to your project from the Epic Games Launcher. And once you have done so, you can go ahead to Place Actors and look for the Fluid Flux BP Flux Coastline Domain. Now, when I first added this to mine, it didn't show up here. I actually had to start a new level and just give it a bit of time. Even restart your editor if you don't see it show up here. And it should pop up eventually. Okay, so now I've got my uh, fly, my coastline uh, blueprint here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just change the... Now I've had this happen once before where I add the thing and I can't click the thing. Um, I'm going to actually just quickly re-add it to my project. I don't know if that's a bug or an editor thing, but uh, yeah. Kind of odd. Okay, there we go. So what I did is I actually just clicked off and I clicked on. Anyway, I'm not sure why that happened. Maybe it's an editor quirk or something. Anyway, now I have got my, um, my well, I've got my <laughs> some remnant of my landscape in there. Let me just get rid of that really quick. Okay, there we go. Now, we, now we've just got the fluid flux um, coastline in there. And as you can see, it's already sort of simulating some water movement. Uh, what you can do here is uh, adjust the height and rather actually even the size of the uh, of the of the volume. So what we can actually go ahead here and do is adjust the volume of our coastline. Uh, and now what I actually like to do here is I like to go into left and right uh, and wireframe and basically just kind of align that just a little bit over the top of my mountain. Um, and basically just, yeah, something like that. That looks pretty good. So it just kind of covers up my my land mass. That's all I was kind of aiming for there. Um, you can uh, do things like affect the water height level. Um, let's see, right down here. There we go, water surface height. So if I wanted to raise the height level, I could do so just by putting it up a bit. If I wanted to lower it, I could do the same by entering a negative value. I'll just leave it at zero for now. Okay, what we're going to want to do now is go and look for the flux surfaced coastline and just dry, drag and drop that into your into your scene. Uh, what we're going to do is now select the flux coast coastline domain, bit of a tongue twister there, and we're going to look for the actor reference and we're going to select our flux surface uh, flux surface coastline, like so. And now let's go ahead and look for the wave, uh, flux ocean wave, and drag and drop that into our scene. What we will do here now is select the flux ocean surfaced coastline, and we're going to get the reference actor, ocean wave actor. Uh, we're going to select that as our ocean wave, like so. And now, oh, the magic just happened. Uh, now you can see we've actually got waves. Isn't that nice? That's well, that was pretty easy, right? Uh, and it doesn't seem like to me the box size here, the volume size matter. It seems to affect waves uh, everywhere. It's what it seems like to me. I don't know if I'm right or wrong about that, but that's certainly what it seems like. Now we can do interesting things like uh, edit the flux ocean wave parameters. For example, if we wanted to make the waves much bigger, now we got some bigger waves. That's that's those look like some nice point breaks, some long surfable rides right there. Uh, what we've got uh, is some additional things such as uh, how fast we want the waves to move, a whole bunch of different configurations and settings that you can uh, play around with in here. I cannot honestly say I've tried all of them or even most of them, so you're just going to have to play around with them and uh, figure them out for yourself. But uh, what I usually like to do is type in a big value 
see what happens, right? So it was nice and noticeable. And then you can, uh, of course, wow, don't set it to zero. That was not a good number. Okay, for the fun of it right here, I'm going to load up a Brushify map. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to drop in our uh, our fluid flux water right into the scene. I'm just going to actually copy and paste it over from the previous map. Oh, ho, 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 yes. And there we have it. Uh, there's a thumbnail for the screenshot of this video. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. That's just so cool. Wow, 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 wow. Definitely look. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, congratulations to Imaginary Blend, the developer behind the uh, Fluid Flux plugin. Awesome work, brother. Just looking fan freaking tastic. Uh, you can check out a link to his marketplace asset in the description of this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right. See you later.